Good day. My name is Lieutenant Colonel Véronique Gervais. I was born in the province of Quebec in Canada, and I am the commanding officer of the Canadian Peace Support Training Centre, which we call PSTC. I'm glad to be participating in this webinar series. As the commanding officer, my role is to lead a group of approximately 60 Canadian Armed Forces members from Corporal to Majors in order to deliver pre-deployment training and courses, as well as courses in the Information Operation Reel. Our training centre also welcomes instructors and candidates from all over the world. As for my personal background, I've been an infantry officer for 25 years and I have a Master in Defense Studies. I have two deployments, one with NATO S4 in Bosnia-Herzegovina and one in Kandahar, Afghanistan, as part of a coalition force. I also worked in Italy for three years at the NATO Defense College. These experiences played a part in me working here now at PSTC as I enjoy working with people of different nationalities and background, understanding their perspective and challenges in today's world. I did not end up at PSCC because of my experience in peace operation, but mostly for my experience in education and training institution such as the Canadian Recruit School and at the Royal Military College of Canada. It's hard for me to say what I enjoyed the most about my current role as I took over the command of the PSTC during the COVID pandemic, so it has de definitely not been a normal year. So during these challenging times, what I enjoy the most is probably looking out for the well-being of my subordinates and their family, which enables them to focus on their task and be the best instructor they can be. The COVID pandemic also had an impact on the delivery of our training. As an example, our United Nations Military Observer course is usually mostly comprised of international candidates, so we had to cancel our courses. For other courses, we had to innovate a bit and deliver some parts of the curriculum in a virtual manner. But there are parts of our training that needs to be hands-on, so we had to enforce strict L measures in order to make sure we could deliver the training in a safe manner. The Women, Peace and Security training is really valuable in preparing students to serve on mission domestically and abroad. In the Canadian Armed Forces, we use the Gender-Based Analysis Plus or GBA Plus during all phases of operation from the planning to the execution and the assessment. This is a tool that we use to help understand the impact that policies and operations will have on various demographic groups. The PLUS in GBA Plus acknowledges that GBA goes beyond sex and gender, as we all have multiple identity factors that make us who we are. As well, on many of the courses taught at PSTC, especially the CIMIC Staff Officer course, and the PSYOPs officer course, the candidates are taught to support the planning process in different ways, one being the understanding of the civilian environment, which includes GBA plus and women peace and security agenda considerations. On our UN military observer course, within the core pre-deployment training materials, some subjects presented are women peace and security, respect for diversity, sexual exploitation and abuse, 
conflict-related sexual violence, etc. To conclude, it's hard for me to share advices only to female students who hope to serve in a UN mission as uh, in the Canadian military. All opportunities are equally open to men and women. And since 2001, all military occupations are open to women. But as I have worked in male-dominated environment my entire career, the best advice I could provide is to stay true to yourself. Don't change because you want to fit in. Women, as well as diversity in all of its form, contribute significantly to a personal success, bringing a different viewpoints to the table. Also, I would suggest that you build your own support network so you do not feel alone and you can rely on advice from mentors. I wish you great success in your careers.